Today we're going to bring a DC power supply. And now this is a, if you're an electrical engineer and you're studying or you need some help uh, with your electronics, this is, might be the device for you. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you get something like this. But first of all, let's go into the details. Uh, you got voltage, you got amp, and then this is what's going to be producing. You got your voltage here and you got your amp here to control it. And they can fine tune even down to the millivolts. So that's pretty good that they have this thing. Now, now they do have a five volt connection. This is, you could charge anything, pretty much a, a regular uh, phone connection to power it up. And of course you got your power button in here. Uh, the knobs are very handy. I mean, to go to down to the details. And of course, this is perfect if you don't have any kind of resistors installed and you want to test something out to what's the limit of it. For example, we're going to take a look at it and we're going to test a couple of things out too. Now you got your negative, you got your positive, and then you got your ground. Now, if you don't have these cables, you don't have to use these cables. You can actually bolt them down to the ground here and just tighten it up. That's pretty much it. You could run the cable without necessary doing it. You could have a cut cable and just run it through it directly to it. But they give you this, they give you the actual connection so we can connect them and start using them. So we got our negative and positive. This only goes from 30 volts to up to five amps. So I like the safety mechanisms that are included in here. We're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna run something without resistors and then we're gonna run with resistors. So we can see the actual amplification that's coming out of this system. So let's go ahead and run the test. All right, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna power it up first time powering up. Um, if you guys can see it. Right now we have it up to 1.99 volts. So we're gonna change it down to, we're gonna put three. And um, it goes, like I said, it goes up to 30. We could go do up to 28.54, which is close to 30, you know? You have to, you could be precise. So we're gonna go back to three amps. We're gonna put a three amp. We're gonna test a three amps right now. We're gonna do that, test it out to three amps. Three amps, uh, we're gonna go a little lower than that. We're gonna fine tune it. All right, we're gonna test on an IED light right now. If you guys can see this right now, we, we don't know how much power we have, but we're not using any resistors. We're just gonna test it out to make sure that we have the right amp and we could fine tune it too also. So we're gonna, and we don't wanna burn this out. We're gonna do two types of tests. So we're gonna try this one first. And this is one LED light. We're gonna do a red one first and just put it there and then we're gonna crank it up. So let's go ahead and put this in here. You know, to see how much power we get. If you guys can see it, we have about, we're getting at 2.48 and then we, we're under 118. And if we start dropping, it means it's burning out. So right now we're not we're not dropping, we're okay. At 400, it's it's giving it. So right now we are steady with our resistor is actually finding out exactly how much tone we have to get. So that's pretty good. Without a resistor, it's actually telling you how much voltage we need and how, how much amps we're actually giving out to the actual LED. So this is without burning out the LED. This is a perfect thing to test out. And of course you have to wait for a couple seconds before it turns off so let's go and do another test with the resistors all right we're going to do another test we're going to do a, a test with a bread so we're going to go ahead and plug this in we're going to see how much we can conduct we have a resistor here that we're going to see how much amplification we can control with and this thing will help us out a lot more to control the actual voltage so i'm going to plug this in i'm going to put the red to red and black to black so it's not picking up anything at 2.4 but we're going to go back and test it out right now all right, we're gonna test it out to see if it's working. Uh, make sure that we have proper voltage and it's not working. Okay, we tested it out and the light bulb did not wanna work. So we know it was the light bulb out. So we're gonna try the blue one here, if you guys can see it. We're gonna power it up and there it is. We're conducting actual proper power now. So if you can see, it's below milliamps, right? Three milliamps, uh, 5.3, uh, five. That's how much voltage we are actually accumulating. We're controlling it um, because we have a, a resistor right in in the actual bread. So it's controlling it, and we're able to read out the per proper voltages and also control it. And this is just a little test I like to conduct. So if you're doing any kind of um, soldering on wire to wire or LED light or sensors. This is a way to actually proper test your amplifications on the any systems that you have. So if you're not familiar with it, if you're going to go into an electrical engineer, this is the proper way to start. It's a basic one. It doesn't go any higher than 30 voltage. All right. So, so very simple conducting the tests. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel.
I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.